Hello guys, so the current new balance changes did not give us a lot of tools to work with, like everything is basically for NR and I made few decks for NR already and I refuse to play alumni even though I don't think it will be OP, I don't want to play it because I hate alumni deck, I absolutely despise this deck, so I don't want to play it. Uh, so the only play that thing that left uh, that I have still to play for NR is something that I played recently, like both versions. So I combined them into one. So what is this? So two months ago, I made a very decent uh, shield deck that I saw people uh, got to pro rank with. And two days ago, I made a pretty decent swarm NR deck that I found very interesting and fun to play. So I thought with all of the recent changes, I will combine both ideas into one deck. Usually this is a bad idea. Usually when you want to make a good deck, you kind of make one idea, not like few ideas out of one. But we will see how it performs. Basically it has a little bit of swarm in uh, and cards that can benefit from swarm, like Queen Myth, Vesemir Mentor, uh, but also Commander Sorn, Mashi Truffle with fuck, uh, poor fucking infantry and Griffin Witcher Radov is actually also kind of a swarm card and uh, Keldar of course as well and then you have a Witcher package that I already mentioned as well that can work together with uh, of course obvious cards like uh, Berenger or where it is but also with Vesemir but I lost the second guy there should be two. Oh Leo there you go he was hiding behind the Immortals uh, and I had a one spicy thing in form of coin. So because when you now, because coin got nerfed, now when you Amphibious Assault coin, you give it free power and it's gonna be five power, which means that all of the Griffin Witcher Adepts and cards like Griffin Witcher uh, will be able to be boosted by free power, which is quite a lot. So I'm gonna test if this is wor is working. In theory, this deck should work, but in practice, we will see. And also, it doesn't have removal to... Okay, let's go for another one. So now, I plan to win a game and prove that this deck is glorious. I think it has a lot of win conditions, but maybe they are not that flashy. My god. Bounty. I don't want to play against control deck. Come on. <laughs> Let me play against the control deck. Okay, we have a, at least our combo. One of many. I don't want to give it Veil. I mean, I want to give it Veil, but I don't want to boost it. <laughs> My hate is not that amazing. It's fine, but it's not amazing. I can actually use Geralt Quen for Griffin Witcher and just give it Veil. So then I just can't lose one round one, sort of. That's why I was thinking about giving it Veil. I guess we just ac accept it. Order poison the enemy with bounty. Yeah, this just gets poison and fist tech, right? I could have boiling oil, it, but I prefer to wait with boiling oil for the Witcher... Witcher whatever. Which something? What is the Witcher Hunter? I think it's called. Or something like this. I don't care about shield. The wonders of projectiles and range them. Yeah, my head kind of is awkward. Oh, that's not good. I cannot kill it. I can kill it in next turn. But I can do poor fucking infantry, which kind of denies the value of Ixora. 
Well, not completely, but it's it's good against it. Oh, I could have played it in the mirror if I have to play Commander's Arm. Oh, this is actually a 50-50. Oh my god. And you know what I did with 50-50? I lost it. So I can kill Ixora, or I can try to which. No, actually, which which finder I don't have to kill. I can I, I have to kill this because if they play like a damage engine, they can just snipe those and then kill my big guys. And this, if they kill dumped sorcerers, yeah, that's what I was afraid of. Uh, this is not good. It's very not good. But at least now which finder is whatever, because I have this. Yeah, this is not working, Mr. Opponent. I have Veil. <laughs> hey, at least my opponent failed at that. So which, uh, which finder is now useless? Uh, this they will die. Much left of that one. Bye bye. Mm. Yeah, I'm only afraid if they have like toll removal. Yeah, I cannot kill this. And I have to play a card. Oh, why they didn't click it though? <gasps> What's a Kind of a missed play. So I really don't want to play Keldar. Because Keldar is very good later. And I don't have... Do I actually have to play Leo? No. I have to play Meave. Which is very awkward. But if they play another card... And oh, this is so awkward. I really didn't want to click it. But Leo is so much better than... Well, maybe it's not. I mean, now it would be only 6, so I would maybe have a problem with winning this round. Why this give me 1, 2, 3, 4... Immediately, like, 7 plus 4, so 11 damage. Well, that's not good. They can steal my poor fucking infantries and I don't have another one. Then it's kind of good that I played me. Well, this is whatever. This I don't care about. Okay, I can do a risky pass. Now. Okay, no longer. Mm, yeah. That's a good snipe. Wait, I forgot to click it. <laughs> Come on! Come on, Griffin Witcher. One, two, three, four, five. One in five. Oh, wait. One in six. Nope. Okay, this didn't work as I was hoping. Problem is that they can get. I cannot pass now. Pogner... Pogner is only in theory good. I mean, kind of in practice as well. Okay, this can actually be a winnable game. This is actually... This is actually winnable. This is 50-50. My vacuum cleaner is talking to me. Okay, this is 50-50. So I now need my boy Griffin Witcher Adept, but it might be a little bit too late for it. But I still have to do it. 
Because I get only two swaps. Now I kind of could use Meep. Because they still have this, which is kind of big. Okay, so we play this. We could have the... the I don't play on the code, I hate it. I don't play on the code. I hate it. So you now want to cut the apple like soap, probably. And keep Pogner for round 3. However, in round 3, I don't see a lot of success. Okay. See Kerseren from here. So this is not gonna be bigger. One more time. Now, try throwing three. We can give it the shield. So they cannot get the full value from Bloody Money. So they you I mean they will get coins. But I hope that they don't have a coin spender. Although they have Dodaric, so Dodric, so there is a low chance they actually don't can find. Good job, good job. Coin spender. Well, this is not a good coin spender. Also, those this will be swapped. This is what this is just. This is whatever. I mean, I'm gonna proc it now. Maybe I don't proc it. What if I don't proc it? Nah, probably I will proc it. They already used uh, Graydon, so maybe I can also just use the highest shield wall on the planet. It doesn't matter because I eat it, so... Boing, 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 boing. 40 points. Can they do 40 points? They have... They have 13 on the board. And they have like a perfect hand, probably. But sometimes perfect hand doesn't mean that it's perfect. They can actually use... The value of... Uh, Are Coronita. If they use uh, leader ability. But they need to use the leader ability on something small. This is enough, if they want to. They just use on this and they have exactly enough points to trick... No, I'm not, and they have one more. Mare Chronita, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So they get 7 points more from this. Oh, that sucks for them. I mean sucks, it's just not giving them enough points. I now bleed, won't trigger, so they need 20 points without my turn. And that's only 10. Well, 12. But it's still not enough. GG! GG, 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 GG. I cannot get another proc from Ahronita and bleed is not triggering. Perfect! Yay, we have a win with this deck. Isn't this deck amazing? I'm telling you guys, there is a high potential in this deck. It's absolutely nuts. It has so many tiny combos. I love it. I love it. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you next time.